logic apps, the term definitely you would have heard. Either you belong to the power platform domain or belong to the Azure domain. Hi everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classy Power App. In this video, we'll understand the logic app and try to use its feature in the power app. Logic app is actually a service given by the Azure that is used to do the automation work. Like we do automation from the Power Automate, like we do automation from the Azure function. So Logic App is similar to the Power Automate. Okay. So in this video, I'll just try to implement one use case. Okay. So here is the use case. I'm, I've just taken the simple use case the, to finding the factorial of the demo. Since we know in Power App or in Power Automate, it's little hard to implement the JavaScript. Okay. But in Azure Logic App, we can write the JavaScript code. Okay, so what we do, we simply take the input from the Power App, pass it to the Power Automate, and then Power Automate will call the Azure Logic App, and Azure Logic App will write the JavaScript that is used to find the factorial of the number, and later on it send the response back to the Power Automate, and then Power Automate send the response back to the Power App. Okay, so this is the complete case we are going to implement. So let's start it. I'm just taking to my screen. So here we are on the main screen and we start with the app. Let's take the logic app demo. I'm using the tablet layout only. And we come to the Azure as well. And here we need to create one logic app. So we'll write logic app. Yes, we have the logic app. Okay, we select this one. Now we need to just create the logic app. Okay, just create this one. Here you need to give a resource group. So I'm using the logic app name as uh, Prashant Logic. App demo. Okay. And the resource group would be the same only. And it would be type of workflow, region is central US. And plan time I'm using it for the conception basis because of how much I use this. Depending on that, it will cost me. Okay. And for the zone disabled, I'm just now creating this. So the one logic app I'm just creating from here. Meanwhile, today we can open our Canvas app. Okay. So just create the logic app. So it takes a little time. Meanwhile, to that we can make our app work done. So we use one input control from which the user can pass the input. Okay, we use in the hint text, we can write enter number. To find factorial RAL factorial, okay, and it's format to be type of number. Okay, yes, that's nice. Now we use one button and we say find, okay, and we use one label. and give it a color so that you can just see it and say factorial release okay right. now we can just check okay our logic app is done now we go to the resource on the resource we can see similar all these things here okay so it will give you some predefined templates okay so as per our case if i just take you to my case a case is simply send accepting one request that is coming from the power automate and sending that the request back to the power automate okay so it's similar to kind of http request accepting okay so the template that fixed as per my requirement is this one http request it is taking accepting the HTTP request depend its trigger from the HTTP request and send the response. Okay, 
so we use so here you can see the designer panel is similar to that of the power automate only okay so we are good now and now the thing is we need to call one javascript so this is the interesting connector that i find here here you can run your javascript code but in power automate it's a little hard to just call the javascript okay so we, here you can see that we have the inline code and in the inline code you can execute any javascript code so we use this one so here we can write some javascript code so what we need to do is we need to find the factory of the number okay so what we need inside here what we we need to fetch the number okay so we need to pass some the json schema what type of response what type of http request would come so we write let's say is there is number some okay let's then and done great now i use one variable and store that number two here you can see its number you can see it is asking workflow dot context dot trigger dot output dot body dot number so now the number that i have written in the http request would be stored in the num variable okay so it's it would be like now we need to add one variable fact equals to one now we need to add some for logic for loop okay and for loop would be like where i equals to one i should be less than equals to num okay and then i plus plus now curly braces and we use fact multiply equals to i okay and in the return i want to send only the fact okay so it's the i uh, just remove this we don't need this statement now yes so here you can see this would actually filter the this code should give me the factorial of any number that is coming in the input so i'll start the loop from the two because one is already there okay so we are done now we need to send that output of this connector through the response okay so we expand the response and in the body we send the result of the executor code okay come here and we are done now just save it okay so it says it will give you some error that you need to create the integration account okay in order to execute this code then what we need to do is we need to create the integration account for this one so it would be removed so what we do is simply copy the whole because i don't want to repeat the same and come back here you can create the integration from create the new app and here just search for the integration account and egr8 even integration account it's type of a resource that you can create integration account create one i'm using the resource group that i have using for this one only so int account i'm using this one and everything leaving it as it is just create this one validating the missing some valid details okay what i'm missing okay pricing tag right okay so i want it to be free of free one just create this one and now validating what i'm missing now again free oh yes no 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 i'm account good okay validating is missing some basic details but i'm okay i think they need to just refresh the screen one more time 
and create the new one let's say int count two and the resource group i'm using this one only and it should be plan type to be free uh, no more is with integration allowed only for the sq no more sq integration allowed only one for free okay so it uh it is saying that only one you can create as i have already created the one integration account for free okay if you haven't created you can create from following the same steps i have already created one so i'm just going to use the same okay here you can see i have the integration account is prs integration account okay so i'm using this one so come here on the workflow settings and here in the integration account you can just add to your account and just save it okay once it gets saved, now come again to the logic designer and need to start again. You can add the indication account in the initial in, at the initial as well, but I haven't added because I want to just show you. Okay. Again, I need to write number. Okay, and here I'm writing the inline execute JavaScript and now I simply paste the same that I have copied okay initially now it's good in the response will pass the result of this now let's try to save this one now again Just save it so here you can see now our ad logic have, has been saved successfully okay so it means our logic app work has done now so we come back to the power app and here all we need we need to just pass create the one flow and so as we are just running out of the time so let's um, catch on the next video okay i'm just pausing here only because it, i'm just running out of the time so we just continue from this stage in the next video okay everyone so thank you thanks and stay tuned for the second video